All right, guys, now for the hover setup. Um, very similar to the float setup, except no bobber. So first of all, hover fishing, you're going to want a faster action rod. So I am not using my trolling rods. This is a, a faster action rod that I like to use for hover fishing. It's a eight foot two Loomis. It's actually uh, designed as a quick fish rod. So it's got kind of a soft tip, but it's got an extra fast action so that when you go to set the hook, you are locking onto those fish immediately. So you want that fast action so that when you set, you're into them. And then on this setup, braided line, and then I'm running to a snap. This is the gum pucky I put in there to protect the tips on all of my uh, trolling rods and stuff. Works really good. Um, just a slider, the brand doesn't really matter. These are just the regular um, bait sliders. It, it, none, this stuff isn't spinning, so if, if we were running flashers, I'd be using a VIP line lock. But since we're not, I'm not that worried about it. To a bead chain swivel, and then 36 inches of leader to the business end. And this is where Barry and I differ a little bit. And I'm gonna make some adjustments today. You can tell there's a bunch of eggs on that one. That one needs a new hook. But I'm running down to a single three aught Gamagatsu hook. Barry has been running um, two two watts, and I think his hookup ratio is a little bit better than mine. So with that said, I'm gonna change my leaders a little bit today, and I'm gonna go with a setup that uh, should um, hopefully kind of copy his. But uh, yeah, that is the hover fishing setup, guys. Super simple, you put a beta eggs on there, and uh, you're good to go.